Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of my show. Um, I'm Rainbow Red Panda, and I wouldn't really call this comic time because it's not like a regular episode, but it's like a special edition. So, as some of you may know, I'm very passionate about music. It's like one of the five things ever that I have a deep passion and knowledge of. But I also really love comic books, another one of those five things. So when you put them together, whether it's music and comics that are that go together or it's just a music artist that I really like that does a comic it's amazing to me so today I have a few examples of comics that were made by musicians or bands or something like that so the first and probably my favorite so far has been the band Coheed and Cambria if any of you guys have ever heard of them amazing I remember I've gotten so many people into them just by telling them the story. Like, they'll hear the music and they'll be like, okay, that's okay. But then once you hear the story and, like, all the stuff that they do with their music and everything that they have planned for the future, like, it's amazing. So Claudio Sanchez, the frontman of that band, has written two... He's written a lot of these, actually. There is the Armory Wars... And then there's this one which is also the Armory Wars, but they're different. Like, they're both, they're each based on a different album of them. This one is the Second Stage Turbine Blade, and then this one is Keeping Secrets of Silent Earth 3. Um, I believe there are a couple other ones. These are the only, like, large, these are the special edition ones that I got at a comic book store. I also have all of the individual issues. Some of them actually have been signed by the band, and I was really excited about that. But these are amazing. They go along... It's kind of like you're reading their songs almost. They use their lyrics a lot in the dialogue. And it's just, it, whenever you like listen to their music, you just get these images in your head. And it's fantastic. They're also planning on, actually they're working right now on turning the whole thing into like a movie and just like an animated, like anime type thing too. Which is, I'm really looking forward to it and I hope that they're able to do that. But like this pictures are very bright. It's not really that one, but like. They're bright, they're clear, they're crisp. I don't want to show you, like, too much. But I've just always really liked their stories. And just the story, like, the way that they thought all of this out, it it's amazing to me. So, if you guys ever need something to read, go to Claudio Sanchez. He does his own thing, like, with the comics. He has his own, like, Evil Ink studios. Like, that is him, pretty much. And he's done... Evil Ink has also done this other non coheed related thing, but Claudio Sanchez still wrote everything. His name's Claudio, and the thing that he did is called Kill Audio. Get it? Kind of like a play on words there. I have it. I, I can't find it. I took it to Memphis, and I know I brought it back, but I think I lent it to somebody, so I don't have it to actually show you. But it's kind of like the death of music, like Kill Audio is meant to kill audios until they decide what is good music and what is not and I really like music so it's it's an interesting it's in, it's confusing in the beginning because there are a lot of characters in the beginning of the the comic itself it, it actually has like who each character is and like what they do just because in the beginning it's it's kind of hard to decipher who's who but once you get into it I really like it and I would recommend it to anybody so and I believe if you if your comic store does not carry it it is still orderable all of these are orderable, most of them, even the individual issues. I don't know if the comic stores can, but if you go to evilink.com, I believe, you can still order most of the actual issues of the comic, which I think is really cool. Okay, second band. Of course. Gerard Way, My Chemical Romance. Gerard Way did this, and I love it. It is the Umbrella Academy, which, these are two different I also have the individual issues of these, but once again, I moved a few years ago, and I left a lot of stuff in my mom's house, and this is just some of the stuff that I left. Those are my comics, so at least they're safe there, I hope. Um, these, you can still get it a lot. Of, like, this one is at the comic book store that I go to all the time. Like, it's just sitting there, and if I didn't already have it, I would totally buy it. But it's about these children that... Are, it's kind of like the stereotypical born to be like killers of bad people and they just kind of get tired of being told they don't 
ever really have names that's like one through six and I mean who wants to live like that really so this one is it's won a lot of awards um there's a lot of praise like loopy hybrid of Harold and Maude and X-Men and Umbrella Academy is the best comic on the stands right now. Well, this was from a while back, so it's probably not the best on the stands right now, but at one point, it was. This doesn't have anything to do with, like, their albums or anything. It's just a comic that they made, well, that Gerard made, because that's what he did before they were in music. He worked on, like, Teen Titans and things like that. So, yeah, Gerard. And he has another comic coming out, um, the first issue, I've already talked about it, but the first, um, like, ep issue zero, I guess you would call it, comes out on Free Comic Book Day. Um, one of Dark Horse's free comics is going to be The True Life of the Fabulous Killjoys, which my comic book store is stocking that one. I made sure of it, and I will be there bright and early on Comic Book Day to get that. And then the actual comic itself, I believe, comes out on June 6th, unless they pushed it back, which I think they might have, and that makes me a little bit sad, but it'll still be there. So that is coming in June. Um, the last one that I have an actual example to show you, I can't find the first issue. I, I don't know where it is again. Um, Coldplay has done a comic about, my. it's called Milo Xyloto. I have not listened, I like Coldplay, but I don't own like a full album of theirs. I have some of the songs from the Milo Xyloto album on my iPod, but I have not listened to the entire thing. I don't know if it's a flowy story or if it's just like some band they just write random songs and put it on an album and call it a I don't know but I bought this in Memphis because I went to a comic book store and I just I needed something to buy and I didn't want to buy the new releases because they're at home waiting for me so I bought this one which had come out that day actually and then the second one or the first one and then I've ordered the other four from my comic book store so they'll be here whenever they're released I think next month they'll probably release the third one. But it's it's an interesting story. It's kind of similar to others that I've read, but it, it's brighter. I, I really like bright colors, and it's kind of like the anti-bright color comic book. It's like this world where color is bad and all, like, things. You're just supposed to, like, sit there and do nothing, and people get mad about that, so they, like, paint buildings and things, and then people get in trouble, and all over color and it's it's really sad because I mean I like bright colors like come on like it's like an explosion of awesomeness right there like whoever drew that probably might have been on some sort of drug but either way I still like it I don't know I like it and then one that I don't have anything to show you but I can tell you about if you go on Dark Horse's website or their mobile app which is what I have anyway you can download um, the free Issue zero of Corey Taylor is um, the front man of Slipknot, but he's also the front man of Stone Sour. And Stone Sour has an album out right now called The House of Dark and Bones Part 1, and then The House of Dark and Bones Part 2 comes out on April 9th. And on April 17th, they are releasing the comic series that is made after The House of Dark and Bones. He wrote it. I don't think he probably drew it, but I know that he wrote it. It goes with the album. I don't know. I mean, it's not out yet, so I don't know how closely if it goes with the lyrics or if it's just like what was in his head whenever he wrote it but it's supposed to be it's already getting like great things are being said about it and it's not even out yet so I'm really I have it ordered it should be here on April 17th it drops on April 17th um I will be posting a link below there is a trailer which is awesome that a comic book has a trailer it has a trailer um the music in it is by Stone Sour it is in one of their newer songs and Anyway, um, episode, or issue zero is on Dark Horse's link on their mobile thing. You can download it for free, you can read it on the little comic book reader. I don't know if it has an actual paper issue, because it was free, so I just downloaded it, and I really like it so far. It, I mean, it's a darker comic, like, I'm all about, like, dark comic books, like, I like bright colors, but, like, dark stories and things. I really like those, too, so... I really like it. I mean, Corey Taylor, he has a brilliant mind. He's, I mean, if you've listened to, like, any of the music that he's written or that he's been a part of, like, it's really awesome to me. So, I'm really looking forward to that series. So, and also, Polarity! I feel like I would fail at life if I didn't mention this. Max Beams, 
from Say Anything is coming out with this one. Um, I've had it pre-ordered for a few months now. It comes out in April. I think it might... I don't remember the exact date. It might be April 17th as well. And if you go on Boom's website, they have all sorts of different co covers of this where you can order. One of my friends ordered all of them. I haven't ordered any of them yet, but eventually I will get all of them too if they're still available. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's a limited issue thing too. Um, I think there's six issues maybe. doesn't really say on here, but I think there's six issues. This is just on the back of a random comic, so it's not an actual issue. But I'm really looking forward to that too. So, if you guys know of any other music comic books that are coming out, feel free to comment or link. I know I haven't covered all of them, but I've covered the ones that I've really enjoyed or the ones that I had access to that were like in my closet or whatever. I really like music comic books, especially if they follow the album, because then whenever I listen to the album, I can think of comic books, and who doesn't love that? I mean, come on. Comic books, music, like, I love whenever two things that you love just, like, come together and, like, interact. So, anytime that happens, good time with me. So, that's all for this little impromptu episode. Um, next time I think of a fun little topic like this, I will be sure to record it and upload it. Um, I will post the links below that I told you I would, um, the trailer for the House of Dark and Bo the House of Golden Bones, and, um, any other links that I told you I'd post. I think there was another one. If not, I'll just post some random link, I guess. So, with that, I will get off of here.